What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com where we go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I hike into the woods with my summit climber and my backpack or my hunting bag. I'm gonna give you three possible solutions for this today. So hook me up and hit subscribe and let's get started. So it all starts with the backpack for me and my wife, who is awesome, got me this backpack a few years ago and I really like it. It holds a lot of gear, has a lot of cool pockets and stuff in there but it has this really nice loop feature on the top here. And what you could do is remove this and then loop it around and affix it to whatever you want. And this is great for your shooting rail uh, and your ladder stand, your climber stand. This could hang right off of there. And I've used this in that way many, many times. So the first thing I'm gonna show you here today is how I typically put my backpack on and then the climber on. So if you don't have a ton of stuff, if this isn't like bulging out, and you can see I have a good amount of stuff in here, it's pretty heavy and I got some good stuff in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is just put it on. And guys, it's really important to have your hands free. So you want your backpack on your back, your climber on your back and your hands free. And this is my personal philosophy when I go into the woods, I want my hands free so I can carry in my weapon, crossbow, bow, shotgun, rifle, whatever it is, I want my hands free to hold that weapon just in case I happen to stumble upon a buck. And guys, believe me, it can happen. So you wanna be ready to go. When I hike into the woods, as soon as I get in the woods, I'm cocking my crossbow, I'm ready to go, just in the event that I stumble upon a buck and I need that shot. All right, so we're on here. We wanna make sure we're buckled in with all these straps. You don't want any of this plastic loose, you know, smacking into metal or anything like that where it's gonna make noise. So I always tighten all this stuff up real nice and uh, like this. Secondly, the only thing here you really need to do is just throw this thing on your back. You wanna loosen up your backpack straps a little bit, make sure you have enough room in here. And then you're just gonna load up. And this is actually nice because this is gonna provide extra cushion and extra comfort uh, for your stand. If you have your seat on here, that's gonna work real nice, but this is also gonna add some extra comfort on there just so you're not hitting that metal. Throwing it on and you're good to go, just like that. All right, so the second method I wanna show you is if you have a ton of stuff in your bag and it's just like super full and protruding out, you don't think that climber stand's gonna hang on your back there very well. This is the second method. You're gonna put it on the back side of the climber like this. Summit sells these utility straps and these are really nice. They sell a two pack of these. You can see the teeth in there. They really clamp down. And these are nice one inch utility straps. So I have a couple extras here and this is how I'm gonna affix this to the back. So to start with, remember how I really like this loop here? I'm gonna loop this on the back side of the rail. So now we're locked in and the majority of the weight of this backpack is supported on this top rail up here with this loop. Next, I'm gonna take my one inch strap and go up and under and then tighten this thing down. And again, you wanna make sure you're tightening up all these buckles and you don't want anything clanging around on here. So tighten these up. I'm just taking my strap up behind my backpack here, underneath the uh, grates of this climber and up over the top. I'm gonna bring it down and tighten it up. Might make sense to loop it through here just so it doesn't wobble or go anywhere. But there it is, nice and tight. And that's the second way here. And we just throw it on our back as usual. And we're good to go.
right, so the third method I wanna show you involves a different type of bag. This is the Summit Deluxe Front Storage Bag, and this thing actually holds a ton of stuff, man. It looks really small online, but it actually holds a significant amount of stuff. I mean, you can see how wide it is there. You got some pockets. You got cup holders over here. You got a little side thing here. Uh, this thing holds a lot of stuff, so it's gonna hold a ton of stuff for you while you're out there. So you might get away with just taking this. Um, this thing here is gonna mount while you're up in the stand to your shooting rail, uh, which is really nice. You could also throw it on ladder stands as well. It has these Velcro straps. What you wanna do to transport it is just get them up out of the way here in these little loops, just so they're not connecting up because you don't wanna have to make that Velcro noise when you're uh, setting this up when you're ready to climb, right? So you want this nice and quiet. What we're gonna do is just take these loops here, put them in the buckles right around the front of our stand, and then we'll be all set. So right here, we're just gonna take these guys, get them up in between, and then just buckle them right in, just like that. And then you're all loaded up. You even have a little headrest here. And you can of course mount this to the opposite side of your climber to get it completely out of your hair. Totally your call guys, totally your preference. So there it is, three different methods for carrying in all your gear and your summit climber, having a hands-free option so you don't miss any opportunities. Guys, I hope you found this video useful and informative and it helps you out this coming hunting season. As always, the links to the guys we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.